Hey guys, it's John, and today we are playing House on the Hill. This is a new horror game. Well, came out a couple months ago. I'm a little bit late. It was developed by the developer who made Palmyra Orphanage, which we also play on the channel last year, I think. We're getting the bad ending. Oh, look. There he is. He isn't like this. I uh, wasn't too impressed with that, but I've heard very good things about this game. So we're gonna check it out. It's seven bucks on Steam. Check it out in the description if you want to. I don't have a save file, thank you. Thank you for enabling conspiracy theories in the comments about how I play these games before I record them. There's seriously no save file. Hey, do you hear me? Good. Hi, this is Frankie. Are you ready for our new job? I know, sure. I know. You are not a fan of rush work, but our payment will be quite good. And your family needs money, so... Well, what the hell is that supposed to mean? We can make an exception. Okay, your job is simple. Owner has left the city, so you can get into the house, find a trinket, and get out. That's it. My job is to guide you through this, so you can avoid every possible problem. Do you understand? Hmm. Excellent. Let's get you ready. There was a camera near your headphone. Attach it to your shirt. Okay, you mean this little GoPro thingy? Or, oh wait, yeah, 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 I've been trying to do that. Yes, okay. that's it. Now I see the room. Not bad. Okay. Not bad? You this sucks. It's in a garage behind the next door. Okay, well what about the bunny? This is the first toy that I bought for my son. Okay. Why is it here? All right, uh, bye. What do you mean not bad? Look at this, we're in a closet for Pete's sake. <laughs> Hang on a second. Is this the okay. HQ residential Turn house the garage? Find a flashlight and just wander around here. Get used to working in the dark. This is a cheap but bright flashlight. Okay. Well, well we do need good. money, right? Now, inside the house you'll find an alarm system. It's an old one, but I want to be sure you'll be ready. Find the wire cutters and the screwdriver and I'll show you what to do next. Screwdriver is in one of the upper cabinets. Okay. Well, here's the wire cutters, I guess. Oh, no, they're pliers. But they've got a wire cutter feature, right? <laughs> My previous pliers had broken. I hope that these things will not let me down. Already found a wire cutter. Well done. Okay. Screwdriver over on a table in one of the cabinets. In one of the cabinets, got it. Family photo, we look happy. I hope that in the future we will take more of such photos. Hmm, I think you'll be dead by the end of this. That's just my theory though. Okay, Problem? screwdriver. Look at the cabinet over the table. I just found it. Give me a second. It's a simple and reliable tool. Okay. I that does a training fuse box to the describe right of the a screwdriver. Game. It's almost a perfect copy of a real alarm system. And now you're gonna turn it off. Okay. What do you mean almost? Shouldn't we be working on like a real thing? Oh, here, here it, is. it is. My masterpiece. Remove the bolts and open it. I need to see what's inside on the camera. Okay. Don't you already know what's inside? Wait a this is second. a dummy that you set up. I have a problem with the picture. Ha! Here it is. Grab the cutters and carefully cut the blue wire. Don't touch the white one. Do you get it? I'll repeat. Cut the blue wire. Let's cut the white wire. Blue one. I told you the blue one. <laughs> He's mad. I see. <laughs> you have a sparkling sense of humor. Great. Well, excuse me if I've been too pushy. I just want to do a good job. I'm the one that's going to be doing it. My pride and reputation is on the line, not yours. So you can follow basic instructions. Congratulations. I kind of like this guy, even though I also kind of okay, hate him. Now we are ready. It's time to move. Get into your car and I'll tell you where to go. Cool. So this is, he's my guy in a chair. <laughs> He's getting all passive aggressive just because I cut the white wire. I thought it would be funny. You guys can see my achievements now. Thanks to my new setup. You're probably like, what new setup? You're people that don't go to my streams or follow me on social media, so you're dead to me. Nice all right. place, don't you think? If I were rich, I'd live here too. Well, you'd move in? You'd move into a house that's that already has There's people living in it. Stuff there. Pay no attention to them. We only have one evening to find our goal. 
A piece of jewelry called the Heart of Fog. Oh, nice. Only one attempt. We can't go back if something goes wrong. Now I understand. I understand how this works. Thank you. All right. Please don't tell me that this flashlight requires a battery. Go to the entrance. Right next to you, you'll find a fuse box. This is the alarm system. All right. Is this one? <laughs> the one that you made like a little paper out of? The system is a bit more complicated than our training fuse box, but the base principle is the same. Just cut the blue wire and you can go in. So what happens if we cut the other wire though? Blue Oops. Wire! Blue! Damn, cut everything! Okay, hang on a second. Uh let's see. There's actually no blue wire here. Okay. Good. Whew. This guy's so mad at me right now. There was no signal to the police. Move on. Man, he is fuming right now. He's fucking okay. furious. The door is open. Get in. Okay. What what happens if I stand out here? I wonder if he has commentary. Let's play this fast and clean. You enter, you take what we need, and then you leave. This thing is on the ground floor inside the office. Move quietly, be careful, and no one will ever know that you were here. First, find the kitchen. If okay. my blueprints are correct, you need to go through it to get to the office. If your blueprints are correct. Are you a professional or what? What's with these? There's like, uh, there's like red jewelry on here. And it's locked. Was it some kind of ward? Ah, uh, look at the right. There's a light behind the door. We should probably go there. Sure. You can't sprint in this game, by the way. One of my major pet peeves with indie horror games, but I'm trying to... Hold it down, stuff it down, don't say anything. Not a single knife in this kitchen? Well, shit. Okay, uh, it's okay. He probably just likes to make sausages or something like that. Uh, the owner is a hunter, so it's okay. That's people. Those are intestines. That's not sausage. Okay, let's uh Yeah, yeah, you said there's no knife, right? But I kind of cut you off when I opened up the refrigerator. This is a shabby knife stand. I can see some stains from grease and something brown. Weird. You know, I don't understand why you'd buy a mansion and then get like a dollar store knife stand. Doesn't that seem kind of strange to anyone else? I kind of look at houses on Zillow as a hobby and it's so funny. You look at really expensive houses, like multi-million dollar homes, and then they'll have like a 30 inch TV in the gaming room or something. And it's like, why? Just get the 85 inch, dude. You got a multi-million dollar mansion. Go for it. What's wrong with you? Receipt for building materials. This is strange. The owner of the house has bought a bunch of building materials and signed his order with a pseudonym. John Smith? Yeah, that's not a real name, is it? Okay. So like this this doesn't open? Oh, it does. Oh, this is did I come in here? I can't remember. Well, this one's all chained up. Well, this is strange. But we don't need to go there, so forget it. <laughs> but what if I want to go in there? I gotta get some bolt cutters first. I gotta get the uh, standard indie horror tools. Hey! Oh, let's go down Where here. Where are you going? Jewel is in the study. You can't find it in the... Down? I guess it's not a bad idea. <laughs> Let's see what's in there. Come on, Atlas. Let's go. Oh boy, flashing light. Okay, I can see just fine without it. So I'm gonna turn it off. It's saved down move here. Move this thing aside. Why did they even put it here? I don't know. Let's move it though. Maybe they're blocking off a monster, bro. Do you ever think of that? There is a rare knife stored somewhere here. At least, it is according to our client. You'll know it when you see it. Oh, I'm sure I will. I'll have like a fancy handle or something. Okay, let's go. What's up? Unlock it. Yeah. Were they keeping someone out? Or keeping something in? Probably keeping bunks? something in. Why would someone need to leave bunks under a mansion? Is that an immigrant hideout or what? Hmm. 
does not compute. All right, let's take a look at this. Old diary. This is a fragment from a shabby journal. There's some oval spots on the paper. It seems like someone was crying over it. Oh, boo-hoo. Let's see what you were crying about. Okay, you can't read some of it, but I'll just read it out for you. This is so strange. Recently, I see just one dream. My boy with me once again. We are walking through the cave of blue stone and just talking about something. My doctor thinks that this caused by my inability to reconcile with his departure. He is right. <laughs> of course I can't reconcile. My son is gone. I notice that when we sleep on a first floor, my dreams become clearer. I wonder what happens when I'll try to sleep in a basement. The lower I go, the clearer my dreams. My boy is calling me. I can bring him back. I just need to understand what he is trying to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very sad. All right, let's open this up. Oh, sorry. Unlock it first. These chess pieces look kind of strange. Maybe you can use them. Nah, yeah, it's probably some kind of puzzle. Do I hear breathing? I thought I heard something weird. What's up? Oh. What's with these holes? Okay, the chess pieces correlate with the pictures. Got it. So when you move one of the chess pieces, you move one of the pictures. Right? Oh, wait. The holes okay, hang on. The pictures look like keyholes. Try to put the pieces inside. So that's the horse. <laughs> that's the queen. That's the castle. That's the king, right? That's got to be what it is. If it's not, I'm going to be shocked. Okay. Now, which one's the king? This one, right? Sometimes it's hard to tell with certain chess boards. Oh, do you not? I'm sorry, this is clearly the king. The queen always has a rounded crown. Am I wrong? Okay, normally the king has a taller head than the queen in chess. Am I wrong? No. Of course not, I'm never wrong. Oh, sweet. So what are you waiting? The door is open. Move. I'm I'm in. Wait, I'm I'm in. I entered the spooky cave. Is that a cave? Um, just seeing things. It's all fine. I I don't feel well. Do you hear the whisper? This noise. What are we doing here? Uh, I just kind of decided to call an audible and uh, put us in mortal peril, that's all. Why, dude? Why are you so shook? It's not happening to you. You're seeing people, right? We do have a goal. We want to understand who is talking to us. Who is really saying all these lines? This is a natural curiosity. There is nothing unusual. What are you talking about, dude? Are you okay? Get back in your chair, dude. Pull the laptop out. Binge some TV shows. She wanted to get her son back. She was lied to. All right, so now we're in like Amnesia the Dark Descent this over here. cannot exist. Do you hear me? This place is... This place is very important. I want to tell you something. I just can't. Uh-huh. All I can hear is this distracting thing. I'm losing my thoughts. Losing. Did I want to say something? You said you, you said you did. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not really interested in what it is, though. Sorry, but uh, okay. I guess we're blocked off here. Oh, look at that! Vision blurs. That's nice when like it's something like this. See how like the background blurs? Maybe you got something in the foreground. It's nice there, but sometimes it does make funky moments happen. Who lights these candles? Is anyone here? I'm here. Here. 
Not that you give a shit, apparently. So. Hmm. Bones. They belong to those who built this place. Let's open this up. And those who came here later. Let's open the coffin, dude. He doesn't want to do it. Is it opening? Oh, sweet. Get me in there. Thank you. Very polite. They opened the door for me. They didn't have to do that. They could have watched me struggle to open it. All right, let's go into the torture chamber. This is a valve we're gonna take. Oh, sorry, it's a lever, a rusty piece of metal. It is very heavy. Let's put it in our pocket and walk around with it for a very long time. <laughs> Can't wait to put this very heavy lever in my pocket. Crumpled page. Crumpled note on a piece of paper. It was torn out some uh, from some diary or a notebook. I found this place and it had everything to bring him back, at least temporarily. All pieces were in place, but I've been trying for a month and it was all for nothing. Goats, rams, and pigs. We've butchered more than a dozen of animals and nothing works. Heart, brain, and liver. I need to find another donor. Maybe my heart will be enough. All right, so now that we've got a lever or a... Huh, how did that happen? Now that we've got a lever or whatever, we just gotta find out where to stick it. Did this coffin, was it out before? I think it was, but hard to tell. I wanna get down there. Oh, here we go. Good thing I want to get down there, because that's what we had the lever for. We got to save, so maybe we'll have an enemy coming up soon. This is a quiet spot. There is a lot of room to rest. Patrolling enemy? No, no, no. We got statue instead. Uh, okay. What's so great about you? Somebody either sculpted this down here, or they brought him all the way down here from upstairs. Either way, dedication. That's what we are looking for. Pull the lever. Okay, so all of a sudden I you're into this, huh? Can focus. I hear something constantly. There's someone here. Go back now. They will come for me. He needs new parts. She will come for me. He needs the sacrifice. Yeah, well, you know, if you get sacrificed, no big loss. Uh, all right. Well, I guess I'll go back now. Oh, hey, look, there's footprints. This is he. He is here. <laughs> He's waiting for you. Oh. This thing. Run. Well, oh, I, oh, I run. <laughs> Threat neutralized. This is his cocoon. Parents had been waiting for their son, but he came instead. Where have I seen that thing before, by the way? I saw it in another game. Oh, no. The cocoon is cool. I like that. I've seen that thing in another game, I just can't think of what it is right now. Oh well. What's this? Can I take this? Give me this. He is thirsty. This old and serrated knife is shivering in my hand. The blade is warm. And the liver. They were his birthday presents. They keep him Ow. here. Exactly. They keep him here. Hmm. I know what to do. Yeah, me too. I'll put put the knife in there. Okay. So hey, just send me your brain, heart, and liver, and we'll get this underway. Or we don't need those things actually. Listen, guy in a chair, I'm gonna need you to start sending me your organs right now. 
We're gonna need him for an upcoming puzzle. Oh, gross, this dude. This is his liver. Do you want to get out? Get rid of it. What if I ate it instead? He is here. Oh, hi. <laughs> oh, he mad. Look at him. Look at him go. Wow, he's so frantic. Dude, you're not the one in danger. It's me. Stab the brain. Okay. We're good now. I guess he gave up. Maybe he got lost. He got lost in his own tunnels. I like these I like these walls. It looks like there's it looks like they're made of skulls, but they're not. Like just from just from a glance, you might be like, oh, they look like skulls. But then you look up close and it's like, oh, it's just a rock formation. It's pretty cool. Okay, is the last one up here or this isn't the same one I was at before. Dude, it's... Oh, hi! Oops. Okay. That's okay. We'll just... We'll loop him. Listen, man. No offense, but I play Dead by Daylight. So... I'm just gonna loop you real quick. Uh, right here. I'm gonna get it. I got it. Die. Die! Get sucked into the vortex! Ha ha ha! That's right. See ya. Bye bye. Now listen, man in a chair. What are we freaking out about? Oh. I understand it now. Sorry. He needed a new heart. I had to do something. Why are you apologizing to me? Oh. That's a pretty cool way of restarting the game. I like that. I've never seen anything like that before. That's pretty cool. So I got I got an ending just now. And then I'm back and we can explore the house again. That's neat. That is pretty cool, actually. It's time to start. I heard the owner hides his spare keys near the entrance, so it'd be pretty easy. Oh, it's different. It's different this time. Instead of, like, coming in through the fuse box, I've got to find his spare keys. I see. Are they behind here, maybe? In a pot or under a doormat? Will you calm down for, like, two seconds? Yeah, there's a pot over here, okay? Here, I'll look under the doormat if it makes you happy. Okay, that's way easier. Fine. You should have hit it better. Great. I wonder if... It'll be easier than I thought. Alright, let me in. Okay, is anything else different? Like, has the house changed? Ah, look at the right. There's a light behind the door. We should probably go there. Now, what if we decide to go this way, though? I'm just gonna completely ignore all of his directions. This place is like a maze. Just don't get lost. Oh, isn't that, that what you're here for? The, the corridor. You should go there. Well, I went here last time. Remember? So I don't want to go down there. Let's go upstairs. Dude, where are you going? The heart is somewhere on the ground. Well, you can walk up. We came for the necklace, right? It's somewhere on the second floor. Where did that static come from? This is kind of a cool idea for a game. I feel like I've played things like it before, but not executed in, in this specific way. Okay. Damn, everybody's staring at me, bro. Hi. What's under this? Oh, I'll take a photo. Looks antique. What do you think it's worth? Take a couple it's... of shots. I want to see if it's working. Oh, you want to see if it... He's curious. Instant camera in a working condition. They went out of fashion ten years ago. What, cameras or just this style of camera? Okay, so we take a photo and then it appears. Wait, I didn't see it there. 
Or is it a glitch? Okay, uh, let's move on. Interesting. Yeah, now it's there, see? Alright. Camera horror game. Basically. Understood. So you can take out the camera at any point. Yeah, I mean, this is an idea I've seen many times before. I think I'm okay, I'm okay with it in this context because it's not the central the door to the mechanic. I, I do get kind of... I'm kind of tired of playing indie horror games where the the central differentiator for it is that it has, it has a camera and when you bring out the camera you see things that aren't there. Because it's been done so many times before. But if it's just a part of a game like this... It's just for an optional route. I'm kind of cool with that. All right. We're going to see something in this hallway, I bet. It's just really long. Hmm. Okay, there's a pipe there. Save, okay. So what happens now? There should be something on this table. Newspaper. This is a newspaper from six years ago. One of the articles was circled by the pencil. It's a note about the disappearance of a famous artist and her son. The name has become somewhat blurred. I can't read it. What a shame. Look. Okay, so so this means that we gotta pull out the camera. Take a photo, and the cassette will appear. There it is. This is not happening. This is insane. It's cool. An old cassette. I think that it has something on it, but the writing is too blurry to know what exactly. All right, well. We just got to find a VCR now. Ooh. I'm going to start taking photos of all the pictures. What about this? Is there something that's supposed to be there? Or no? Okay, yeah, yeah. That's not really... That's not really anything. Alright, what do you look like? She grinning! She's... She's happy now. Ooh. That's fun. Okay, what about this? Does this have anything? Okay. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Let's take a pick of this one. Oh my. Oh no. Are you are you all the same woman? Are you smiling now? Are you grinning? Oh no. Oh, she's not happy actually at all. <laughs> Grilla DeVille over there is kind of sad. How about you? Hmm. You know, you'd be prettier if you smiled more. Haha. <laughs> Don't say that. Okay, let's go. Locked up? But I'm sure we didn't lock it up. Okay. We'll find another way out when we're done. Well, let's take a take a look. Oh. Okay, it's actually. That actually didn't help. Huh. Oh, what's this? Oh my god. This is where it was? Look. Alright. Nothing, huh? Uh, play? No, insert. It wasn't in. My god. I just turned it on. Look, it says, pills wait. <laughs> All right, play. A recognized artist and photographer and her son. The search continues. We are mm. still waiting for an official statement from the police representative. In the meantime, we express our condolences to the husband of Mrs. Mrs. Myers? <laughs> <gasps> Did that just happen? have some connection problems mm -hmm, here. Mm -hmm. okay, it just happened. Let's look in the other rooms. The necklace should be in the bedroom. Look, look, look. Look, we got our set. We caught caught in the axe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Okay. Open up. You open you open this door, right? I'm coming. I'm walking as fast as I can. Walking walking for my life. Inside though? Inside though? Look at all the photos. All right. Open up. No. Do we go out? Do we go outside? There's nothing weird about it. Wait, was this door always here? What's going on? I knew that a child used to live here. But why is this the only thing that was left of him? Where is his bedroom or toys? There must be at least something. Here, here, here. I found something. Sedative. Very strong drug. The description says that it will help against outbursts of aggression. It was prescribed for the wife. Hi, come on in. No need to cry. I'm trying to let you in. I'm trying my best. Where is he? Where is he? I'll find out. I'll find out. That guy sounds upset. Hey, whenever you're done crying, I can leave, so thanks. Oh, hey, what's going on here? <laughs> oh. There's something very strange going on here. Yeah, thanks, Sherlock. I can't stay here anymore. Jump over the balcony and get out of here. Oh, no way, dude. Jump over the balcony? Can't stay here any longer, my ass. So what's this? All right, all right, all right, all right. We gotta keep taking photos, man. Okay. Oh, look. Oh, that's pretty good. Pretty good sketch. Jump over the balcony. My God. Can you imagine? Mm. Very cool. Very cool. No, no, no. I gotta see. Here, here, look. We can still jump over. <laughs> oh no, it's gone. Okay, okay, okay. What do you look like, though? I got an achievement. Layers of meaning. Not at all. Like layers of fear. If some artist or writer starts to tell you about the deep meaning of his work, do not believe him. There are only two things they can write about. It's themselves and their issues. This one has a lot of issues. Yeah, her main issue? <laughs> she used to smile more. What's under there? Oh, you ain't a mannequin. Okay. Let's take a look at this, though. Hmm. These are kind of getting less impressive as I go along. Hey! Were you embarrassed? This one's shy. So is this one! Okay, what about this? Cool. Nice. What about this? I wonder if any of these is gonna like actually do anything for the gameplay or if it's just for fun. I like doing it. But I'm not sure it's doing anything for me. Okay. Sam, I have interference. I can't hear you. Nah. Um, If I can't hear you, that's kind of a blessing. All right, this has gotta happen, come on. Oh, uh-oh. Okay, so it's a thing that you kill by flashing it with the camera. Understood, understood. Ow, come on. That's the same. Oh, now it's gone. Oh, now it's gone. Oh, now it's gone. Okay. Are you? Oh, he's trying. He's trying to show me where to go. Maybe we should just leave. Can I not anymore? Yeah, it's locked now. Okay. I've uh, I've signed my death warrant, huh? That's pretty fun, man. Okay. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm not in range. Picture. Do you hear me? Take a picture. Yeah, I did. She's gone. I got her. She's dead. Killed her. Well, what happened? Oh no. She went up there. Oh, you want me to go up to the attic? Sweet. <laughs> Dude, I, uh... On Twitter the other day, I saw someone... use the term drug addict. But instead of saying addict, they said attic. Like drug attic. They called someone a drug addict, and I thought that was really funny. In like a really sad kind of way. It doesn't work anymore. <gasps> Broken camera. Oh, but we can still use the flash. All right, all right, all right. Press C again to put it away? Why would I want to put it away, dude? We're, we're keeping this thing out. Oh. Cry of fear moment right here. Hello? This way? This is very I'm feeling very layers of fear right now. I don't particularly like sequences that are this abstract. Jump scare coming up. Yeah. It was too long. It was too long of a hallway. Okay. It still... It still makes you flinch a little bit. Oh, it's locked. Okay. The child wrote this note when he was alone in the dark. She left him on the... In on the haddock and he died from starvation that crazy bitch Forgive me mom. I will not cry anymore. Never come back, please. I'm really hungry. I'll eat everything you cook I'm so sleepy mom. Don't leave me. I want to eat. I want to eat eat mom doesn't love me anymore eat I feel like notes like this are they always come across as just a little bit derivative of the Keeper's Diary from the original Resident Evil, which of course is one of the fa most famous horror game notes of all time. What did I just do? Are you gonna spell out something in blood? No? Just gonna, okay. Oh, so it's unlocked now. Oh my God. Hang on. Here we go. Alright. Boss fight? Gotcha. Did I not get you? Yeah, you're dead. I'll just keep flashing away. Just in case. Dealt some heavy damage to her. Okay, now what? Do you hear me? It seems that the connection is clear now. Are you okay? What was that? I killed a ghost. No, no, he stopped talking. I keep cutting him off without meaning to. I want to hear him talk. I know earlier I was like, I don't want to hear him talk anymore, but I was just being grouchy. You know me. That's why they didn't find her. Oh, wow. Let's take it. Wait. Necklace. I came here for this, right? Did we? We found what we were looking for. You saw what you wanted. I got an wanted. achievement. Now you can leave, right? Good. Oh. Okay. And now it's gonna rewind. That's, that's fun. This is a fun idea for a game. 
I'm enjoying it more than I thought I would. I think it's because, like, it's like several smaller horror games in one big one. It's like an anthology game, kind of. All right. Now, in any kind of game like this, we got to see if we can just leave. Without even going in the house. That's... There's got to be an ending for it. We'll just go out the gate and leave, right? Is it this one or this one? Here's the car, so we just leave. And... We'll get back in. See you later. Or... The car, car doesn't work anymore. We can go this way. Hey, where did you go? We have an agreement. Let's see. Let's keep pushing it and see if he relents. Really? We don't have time for this. Go into the house. Okay, he's got more than one variation. I got an achievement. Common sense. It is an ending. No. This is not how it would end. <laughs> oh, come on. No, it is. It is how it would. Come on. Ow. Oh. That's all right. I had to try it. All right, let's uh scouting here. Check the main facade and you'll find a small window. It should be open. Get in and I'll tell you what to do next. Really? Okay, so we're going in through the window this time. Right here. Oh my god, that's way easier than like snipping the wire or finding the key. Easy, dude. Are these lit up by the way? Quietly. Be careful, and no one will ever know that you were- They are, so- First, find the kitchen. If my blueprints are Whenever this guy shuts the hell up. The We've gotten two out of four different endings. And then when you get all four, then you can go through this door, and we can get the grand finale. That's fun. Ah, uh, look at the right. There's a light behind the door. We should probably go there. Yeah, we probably should. You're right. Have you noticed that there's not a single knife in this kitchen? The man is too paranoid. Is he afraid that someone will get inside and kill him while he sleeps? Well, you are here, but uh -huh. anyway, he needs to lose some steam. Go to the dining room and after it you'll find a corridor. We'll save the meat fridge for later, I think. I think that feels like another path than what this is. Yeah, the owner probably forgot to clean before leaving. Noof, we must hurry. Oh, this? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What happened? Oh, <gasps> How did that plate shatter on the Good. floor? Look for a study. Inside you'll find a safe. Focus on that. All right. Unattended fire. I guess that sooner or later, this home is going to burn. <laughs> we could always try to put the fire out. Look at this shit. They have a VCR with a power cord that goes through the wall. Couldn't they make a normal socket? Wait, this is not a power cord. It's something else. Interesting. Hmm. Let's follow the cord, shall we? Cute picture, I guess. Wait! Or creepy. No, it's all right. Look at this creepy painting. Hey, look. Is music? Where is it coming from? Do we go after the piano or after this thing? Can we even go in here? Huh. We have to scan something on that, I think. Bedroom. Look around. Maybe you'll find something useful. Yeah, like a fucking piano that somebody's playing? Hang on. Can I read this? Not yet, I guess. The toilet. Didn't I tell you to do your business before work? By the way, I'll be right back. Okay, see ya. Key of the storeroom. I don't know why it was in the bathroom. Yeah, me neither. Oh, it was a radio. Okay, what's this? Ring in a box. Woman's wedding ring in a box. It looks dusty. It hasn't been worn for a long time. We don't want to take this? Are we here to rob them? Let's take the ring. Who cares if it's a wedding ring? We don't have any morals. We're here, aren't we? Okay, where, where does... I'm sorry, where does the key go to? It goes to the storeroom? Look. It doesn't open. 
What was that? That was, <gasps> that was weird. It, it must go in here, you would think. Oh hell yeah. Another tape. I know that it has something on it, but the writing is too blurry to know what exactly. The writing is blurry. <laughs> Friendly inner voice. <laughs> What's up? Uh, why is everything dark? Uh, weirdly, I uh, weirdly like this guy. <gasps> what was that? Oh, that was the reflection. I'm an idiot. Okay, go ahead. Insert it. And let's hit play. Come on. What'd you got for me? Hey, that's the hallway behind me. Okay, so what do you do to get in there? Oh, it just opens. What? How did you get it to open, though? This is really weird. I have a very <gasps> bad feeling about this. Wait, maybe it opens? Oh, it's already open. What I was thinking was I would have to play the video and then as soon as it opens on the video, it would open in real life and I'd have to time it. That would be kind of cool, but instead it just opens. That's easier. That's easier. Okay, here's a study. Now you need to find a safe. Okay. Uh. Well, let's look at pictures instead. Former soldier. I heard he came back from service all in chemical burns. Maybe that's why his wife left. We are not taking the medal. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess we have standards now. There's a line now. Okay. Text in the frame. Short note in a cheap frame. It looks like notes that my father started to write when his Alzheimer's began to show up. Cool. Keep repeating to not forget. We've been married for seven years. I've served four of them. When I returned, she destroyed everything in three months. And I was left alone, family of one. My God. Are we gonna take this? No. Okay, we're looking for a safe, right? Try looking behind the painting. Mm -hmm. Yes, here is where our trinket lies. Open the safe, grab it, and you can go home. So what's the code, dude? Oh. Seven, four, three, one. Okay. One. Nice. Now grab this trinket and we can leave. Oh, we're not gonna be leaving, but yeah. Sure, we'll grab the trinket. Okay. Was it this thing? Oh my god, Jewel, the heart of the fog it is very expensive. If I can sell it, all our problems will be gone. Wow. And now we can just go. No strings attached. Nothing's gonna happen. Nothing's gonna happen. What? What's happening? Hold your breath and look for a way out. <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> Okay, okay, okay. Come uh, on, there must be another way out. Fireplace? <coughs> uh, clock thing. Don't breathe. I'm trying not to, dude. Is there like a switch somewhere? Something you would think. Could we go? Maybe, oh. leave, now. <laughs> I'm pushing it, dude. Okay, we go back here. And here we go. Easy. Is everything okay? Did you get it? There seems yes. to be no gas here. Good. What was that? Nice. Come on. I need to get you out. You're not gonna be I'm gonna get me out, okay? What are you doing? Talking in my ear and distracting me? Bye. I knew there was an extension, but I never thought it looked like this. What's its purpose? I don't 
Mm, jump scare hallway. Do not open the doors. Don't even come close to them. When all of it is over, I'll make an anonymous call to the police. What are you doing? Wait, stop it. These poor doggies. Wait, they're starting to growl. Wait, it could be a way out. Open the box. Let's see if we can open the door. Open the box, huh? Okay, yeah, let's try it, I guess. These poor dogs. Don't move, let me see. What? Here. They were missing a fuse. The fuses are down. Uh-huh. Okay, not a big deal. Uh, this model uses standard fuses, so... He made this extension by himself, right? Somewhere here should be an electrical fuse box. You need to find it and take the fuses. Yes, that should work. Yes. Taking another fuse and putting it in that one that's missing one will work. Hi. Ah, uh, too bad. What in here? Oh my god. Wow. Uh Yeah, so can you imagine how bad this smells? Probably smells awful, man. Uh, here is the box. Take okay. out the fuse. Hmm. I'm sure nothing will happen when we take out the fuse. Is it gonna get dark in here? Did it matter which one? Wait, the doors are electronically locked. the fuse into the panel and get out of here. The doors are electronically locked. <laughs> no thanks. Dude. Put it in, you idiot. Alright, bye. Close it. I don't know, I'm scared of the dogs now. Do I have to get in on this side? Wait, do I not push it? Is there something, or do I just, I guess now, I... We must look for a way out, and... <coughs> okay. Hey, are you okay? Listen to my voice. We must get out. Okay. What happened there? <laughs> Dude, I'm going. Shit! Run, run, run! I am. I am. He's not gonna get us, dude. Look at him. He's slow. Slow ass. <laughs> Bye. Go through that door, fast! No, I'm, I, okay. You're no, freaking out more than I am. Wait a second. Oh! I fell. Are you okay? <laughs> Move! You must go! Okay. Dude, I'm trying. Oh my god. Be quiet. Oh. <laughs> Fuck! He threw an axe at me. Oh my god! He's gonna chop me into meat. Close the door! The bolt on the door! Fuck okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. They're almost... I have an idea. Close the valve. Hurry up! <gasps> yeah! Get poisoned! Did I win? Are you okay? Thank God. Apparently, wow. somehow. Shit. Okay. Time to get out. Try to climb out the window. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, he died over here, did he? Oh my God, bro. <gasps> Uh-oh. That's not good. Oh, he's fine. He's fine. Don't grab my ankles. Don't grab my ankles. Okay. Are we okay? Oh, it's so blurry. Okay. Yeah, let's, uh... Let's leave. Oh, right here, right here. My bad. Okay, so we got the heart of the fog or whatever. And there's no way he's coming after us. Yeah, the 
kitchen wasn't a safe path. We probably could take the other path. What other path? Wait, no, like legit, which other path? Because you either go through the kitchen... You either go through the kitchen, or you go to the basement, or you go... ...the other way. Hmm. I'm gonna have to think about where the fourth and final path is. I'm not real clear on that. I'll calm down. Alright, how are we getting into the house this time? Is the door just open? It's just open. Beautiful. Well, we must do it anyway. At least we must try. Get in. Dude, it's just open. Did you not see it? We don't have an electronic lock. We just we just waltz on in. Okay, one more ending and then we'll unlock the grand finale. Oh, it's Why different. Is there a fire here? Was it a cleaning lady? Probably. She wouldn't be here at night. Nothing to worry about. Huh. Okay, so that door is completely closed in the kitchen. Oh, the three Did you chains. Manage to open it? Good. Oh. But are you sure that you want to go in there? Yeah. Okay, so I got the three at first endings, and now we can go in here. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. Why are you? Why are you well, trying to sound so creepy all of a sudden? Let's take a walk. You already know the drill. Someone will come, and this someone will try to kill you. The question is, who's it gonna be? Nice. Oh, they. they Don't poofed. think about what you saw. Just look away and ignore it. You always did that very well. Thanks. Oh no. I turn around, it's gonna hey, they, uh. This game clearly took layers of fear as an inspiration. Big inspiration in a lot of ways. Do I light these? Do I take the torch and light the rest of these or Hmm. You know, there comes a moment in life when you just feel trapped. Thanks. Hi. Okay, what now? It keeps changing. Alright, but there's gotta be something that I do in here. And when it seems that there's nowhere to go, you'll take okay. any way out. Yeah. Like this. Is that... Is that a projector screen? That was a big ass rat. Gross, dude. All right. It's a painting. Okay. Photograph. What's happening in this house? Why am I returning to it? You probably thought a lot about it, or maybe the opposite. You tried not to think about it at all. Nice. She got a tongue. Got a long tongue. Wouldn't want to get French kissed by her. Oh, hi. So you got to... Oh. <laughs> Hello. Come down, you've already killed them? I was calm. Did you not hear me? He didn't get to say that because I cut him off by walking into the next room. Was this a garage door? Is it taking me back to my garage? You oh. haven't been here for a long time, haven't you? Every no, I guess new job not. began with this car. What were you thinking when you went to that house? Was it I'm doing this for my family? Or this is the last one for sure? Well, you were right about that. Okay. And now is it HQ residential house time? Oh, damn. Not yet. Do we get in the car? Do we pick up the portrait? Well, for their sake. Your favorite thought, huh? They never asked you for this. But you were so sure that you stole only because of them. 
And adrenaline rush has nothing to do with it. There's only one thing you need to do before you leave. Let's check how well you remember things. Open the fuse box and cut the blue wire. You know we gotta do it to him. You know we gotta- he's too- he's too chuffed right now, he's too smug. We gotta cut the white wire. He's gonna be so... fucking mad when we do it. It was the easiest thing ever. <laughs> you only had to cut the blue wire. <laughs> Are you frustrated? <laughs> uh, okay, fine. There. I cut both of them. Now what? Ooh, it's open. HQ Residential House time. Let's go. If you don't know what I'm talking about, this is a very common Unity asset if Do it is what really I think it is. you really want to return to your family? Well, maybe you'll find a normal job. Eight hours a day, six days a week. You'll be reliable, consistent, boring. <laughs> no. You've always thought that you were too good for a regular job. Okay. I understand. You want to stay with your family. If you decide to abandon the job, I can't stop you. Just leave the earpiece and go. You won't hear about me anymore. I feel like that's not... It, it can't be that easy. I'm leaving the earpiece. Let's see what happens. Oh, I wanted to see the rest of the house. Sorry, I was joking. Uh-huh. It looks like this house has changed. Now it's mine. Oh, <gasps> he's evil. What kind of place is it? Have you died or just went crazy in prison? Well... That isn't important. In any case, now you're with me. Goody. It couldn't be your fault, right? You can't be wrong. It's like he heard the me say that. I wasn't here in the first place. Or maybe you had a partner who gave you the wrong instructions. It couldn't be your fault. You are a good person after all. This just can't be true. Oh. Damn, okay, hi. We'll run. He after me. Okay, bye. We'll go into the door that you came out of, I guess. Yeah, 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 yeah. Despawn. How do I know? Okay, we're back in the house. Oh no. We're trapped now. Or... We're fine. Oh! Hmm. Okay. That was fun. Hi. What do you got to show me? Let's watch it. Because of fire? Police that the suspect in the arson of the home in East London has been detained. I it recognize turned your out voice. It to be a 23-year-old native of London by the name of... The attempted robbery has ended in tragedy when the failed thief tried to turn off the alarm and caused a fire. The resulting fire led to the death of a family of three. Married couple and a child were burnt alive due to the selfish actions of the detainee. The suspect claims that he is not guilty since he didn't know about the presence of the people in the home. After all, it's never his fault. Is it? <laughs> no. No, it's not. It's amazing what only a few sparks are capable of. Don't be afraid. It wasn't really your fault. Oh, I know. After all, who knows who these people were? Mm. Killers, abusers, monsters. I come see. On, come up with another reason why they should have died. You did it so well before. Interesting. That's kind of a, you know what, as, as, as cheeky as I can get with psychological horror, that's kind of a cool concept for this Let type of game. Who is to blame? What are you imagining in your stories? The husband is guilty in the death of his wife. The wife killed her child. And the child is... I don't know. He was a monster and killed both of them. Let's see if it fits. Okay. Do we just... Okay, so this is the child. So he kills both of them. He kills her. She kills him. He kills both of them. That's what was just said, right? 
Do I stand in the... Wait, 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 hang on a second. I want to look at the person who killed me. Oh. Oh my god. Okay, so... Oh, I get it. I get it. We make them all face the center. And then we stand in it. Okay. Took me a second. An acceptance. Okay. I didn't expect this to happen. I didn't think he had to say goodbye, but... Farewell. Okay, bye. I gotta say, I'm not gonna miss you... Chatterboxing in my ear. It's a pity that acceptance cannot fix the past. You know you killed them, and you will remember this. No matter what you will imagine next, we will be together. Forever. No! The worst punishment of all! Okay, I got an achievement. Price of a mistake. So that was, that was the fourth ending. But then there's also... I'm interested in that door that has the four jewels on it. I want to find out what's behind there. That's got to be the last step, right? Now that we know the truth, what's left to reveal? I'm glad that there's more though, because one of the things I kind of resent about psychological horror games is a lot of times the twist is just that like, you're the bad guy. You play as the bad person. You killed them. Dot, 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 you know? So I'm, if there's more, oh, they moved this the doorway. thing wasn't too much. Was it a good ending? There is no time. I need to leave it as it is. Since when did I start talking to myself? I can't take it anymore. I need to get distracted. Okay. Weird. Okay. Lately, I can't get my childhood out of my head. I don't know why. Hmm. Okay. What's going on? I always knew years. who I would be when I grew up. My father took care of this. Director of the... Factory. Very powerful person. He had big HQ plans. residential house. And some of them Here were on is. me. But first, I had some daily schedule to do. You must wake up at five, then homework, then school. And in the evening... The real work. <gasps> Every day was a preparation for the future. I had goals. At age 14, a junior assistant in the sorting floor. At 15, a senior assistant. Mm. Head of the floor at 24. Replacement for my father at 31. There is no time for doubts. I would do everything for him. Every day. I hated it. I had no one to talk to. I had no idea how. Nowhere to go, and because of that, again and again. Ah, huh, okay. I'll go back out again. Oh, narrator. Where did you go? But I found a way out. What was it? Thirty-five years director of the factory. Uh oh. Okay. Here we go. First, Journal. it didn't work out very well. Stupid stories. It's too embarrassing to even think about them. But they gave me the distraction then. Uh huh. What you got? What you printing out? Letter from the publisher. An opportunity to leave. And at 18, on my birthday, I decided to do it. Okay. I apologize for the late reply, Mr. Mist. Wow. But I wanted time to read your work, The Gray Gentleman, and to give it to one of my colleagues to read as well. Frankly, your style isn't quite polished yet. However, I've been intrigued by your talent for creating an atmosphere and maintaining dark tone. I'm still having goosebumps from your gloomy descriptions of an alien slaughterhouse. Please, rep uh, please reply to this email if you still want to work with us. I believe that our proposal might interest you. Regards... John Watcher. Oh, okay. I'm not sure I like that last name. Was well, this? This is the house. But was furious. It's much smaller. He locked me up. He used his educational methods stronger than usual. 
But it's all in the past. I was able to leave, and that's what really matters. I left all this behind. I found a special girl. That's what's important. We have a wonderful baby. And we lived happily ever after. Until. Alright, man. We didn't really ask for your life story, but I guess we're too deep in now, right? Sunken cost fallacy. Let's go. Do we go upstairs? All these doors are locked. Let me just double check. Okay. What you got up here for me? This is a weirdly structured second floor. What's this one? Right? Until what? Only after this letter were we able to realize how serious the problem is. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Mist. Oh, so it's not a pen name. Okay. I'm sorry to inform you that Oliver's condition is getting worse. Uh, I am not going to pronounce that. Will facilitate his well-being and increase the quality of life, but it can't eliminate the cause of his heart problems. I highly recommend you to give your consent to more radical methods of treatment as soon as possible. We prepared a meds regimen, which has a chance to restore work of the heart back to normal. I doubt that surgery will be needed, but I have to warn you that it may be a possibility in the future. We will discuss your son's treatment during your next visit. Okay. Son died. Uh, medical bill. We tried bill. as best we could. It was all for nothing. Bills for treatment grew every month. My novel started to get rejected, and in time, our money ran out. I got a second job, then started another one. That wasn't enough. But we had a chance. Mm hmm. Oh, wow, look at all these. They're, they're covering the walls. Look at all the bills. Bills, 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 bills. I'm up to my neck in bills. What's up? You're not plugged in. Is he all right? The doctor says that he's stable. Good. Good. Have you taken a nap yet? I didn't have time. The operation just ended. How are you? Work. Uh, the part with the maniac is ready. I will write it in time. Can we get another loan? We are already in debt. They won't give us any more. I just need to finish it and... You can call your father. Nadine, you know we shouldn't do that. I've already spoken to him. He has plans for me and now he has plans for Oliver. He... He will break him. He is a monster. Aiden, I don't care who he is. I don't care even if he has horns in a tail. We're talking about our son right now. <sighs> Listen, if he gives us money, then we won't be able to leave him. Never. No, I... I will sell the book and we will solve everything. Aiden, your last work is still in your desk, along with the previous one. How do you know that they'll buy this book? This is all that I have. I promise you, this is my best work. I just need to finish it and everything will be okay. Do you believe me? No. <sighs> One month, Aiden. Then, we'll call your father. I can handle it. I promise. Just say that you believe me and I will do everything. One month. Okay. Bye. She's giving you one month, and then your kneecaps get broke. Mob boss wife. Okay. Did we do it? Am I going to read Aiden, it? Are you okay? We need to talk. Let's talk right now. Behind. I can work with my father. We can come up with something together. But if only I had a couple more days. Hmm. Aiden, mm. are you okay? We need to talk. I just need a little more time. The ending is done. I just need to polish it and. He's a fast writer. Have his operation. He will be free. Nadine will never understand me. We will have to break up. But is it worth it? 
Aiden. Let's talk. No, that does not matter. Oh, I locked the door. Oh, wait, no. Hello, Nadine. Oh, I got an achieve. I got a couple achievements. Was that a choice that I made? Oh, okay. Interesting. Uh, oddly, I think I think the game's a little bit stronger before you enter the four jeweled door. But uh, yeah, you know, it's it's fine. This whole this whole game is fine. Uh, there are some things that I think it does really well. There are uh, specific executions and tactics it employs that I really like. Like, I really like the rewind at the end of getting one of the endings. That's cool. I like the idea of this kind of anthology style of having three smaller horror games and one bigger one and then tying them all together. I liked how that was done. Um, at the end of it all, though, I think it's a bit derivative of... <laughs> Look at all these sound effects. I think it's a bit derivative of Layers of Fear in more ways than one. Uh, I do like it quite a bit more than Palmyra's Orphanage, which was the developer's previous game. It's, it's not quite as derivative as that one. It does have some more original ideas and it's just overall more interesting experience. But I, I don't know, and then again, psychological horror just isn't my thing. It's not my thing. Um, the almost uh, debilitatingly story-driven style that psychological horror employs just tends to kind of rub me the wrong way. But I mean, it's okay. I I, I thought this was fine. Uh, but it, it's not it's not something that I'm gonna look back on as like horror game of the year or anything. A lot of people have been talking it up to me, so I've been trying I've been trying to keep expectations lower. Than, uh, than the recommendations would have would have given me, but I don't know. Hopefully that all makes sense. Like I said, it's a it's a well made game. It's just nothing special in my eyes. Uh, I enjoyed it, but it's probably it's probably gonna be one of those that I'm gonna look back on and be like, oh yeah, what was that game called again? And I won't be able to tell you. Um. So yeah, that, those are my thoughts on House on the Hill. It's seven bucks. You can play through what I think is the entirety of the game in about an hour and a half, so I'm not sure seven bucks is like a fair price point for that playtime, but it's not it's not unfair. So I don't know. That's just those are just my my thoughts on the game. Overall, pretty like above average, but not stellar time. All right, let me know what you thought about House on the Hill in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Think critically.